Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. Hey, this is Spencer Colgan and thanks for coming back to my wallpaper and painting channel. Curved corners are very popular in Florida. This is not a 90 degree angle, but this is rounded. And on top of being rounded, it's textured, rounded or curved. So, for example, that's obviously, right, a sharp angle, 90 degrees, but this is rounded. And we have to draw a color in the corner separating a dark and a light color. But as you can see, you would never be able to do that effectively. You can't do it. So this is how I go about doing it. I put a laser line in the corner. Let me show you. So I see the corner of the trim. I put my laser in there, and then I see, how does it look up the rest of the corner? Hmm, you see how it's off there? But I notice that's the way it is, so I, I, you see, I can't move it over to the corner without being off down at the trim, and without being out of the corner. So, Reason prevails, and I'm going to find the center of my corner. And I think it follows right from the trim. Now you may find that the person who did the drywall finish is not consistent with the corner going up. But if your line is consistent, I can tell you at the top, the corner, the center of the corner is not on the laser. So the paint is going to be critical that it's straight because that's going to define, at least visually speaking, the center of the corner. Now using my laser, I can't very well paint up against that laser line and do a good job. So I'm going to get rid of the light after my tape takes its place. So I'm putting the edge of my tape right up against the laser. After you're satisfied that your tape is on the line, you have to now protect this wall from getting this paint on it. We're gonna do two different colors. This is a light color, it's an off-white. This is going to be a gray. And so we don't want the gray getting under the tape. So I'm going to put caulk against the edge of my tape. And this is a product by Sherwin-Williams. And it's clear, clear. I know you don't have that across the Atlantic, but if you don't have anything, you could use white, although it's not super advisable since the edge of the white caulk will show up against your color when you remove the tape. That's why we use clear, okay? In other words, the clear, when I take this tape away, 
I'm going to reveal the edge of the cock, right? Ever so slight, but it will still be an edge. And if I use clear, the clear will allow the color of the gray to permeate the translucent, transparent, clear caulk so that the edge does not look white, but it in fact takes on the color of the paint being applied up against it. Okay, so we can get right on our tape and paint right up against it. Let's do it. Did I wait till the caulk dried? No, I didn't. Don't wait till it dries because you'll get bridging. Bridging. Bridging is the process by which the paint and the caulk dry. If not together, then at least the caulk will dry. Then you'll paint over it. And what will happen? You'll have a bridge between the caulk and the tape and it will, t it will pull it like bubble gum. So I do it when it's wet so that it separates quickly. None of this is dry right now. And I'm gonna get two coats on here. And do you see how I'm going wide here? You know why I'm doing that? Because when you're painting dark up against light and you're rolling, you're going to splatter the dark onto the light. So why go wide? So that your roller is nowhere near this edge because I'm going to take the tape off. You know, it only has a certain amount of time before we get bridging. Bridging, again, being the process by which your caulk dries and pulls, pulls off like bubble gum, doesn't separate because it has bridged together with the tape and now you have to redo it. Okay. So I want to keep my roller far enough away from the action. After I remove the tape, okay. Okay, so it's wet. This is all within three to four minutes of time that I've done all of this. This is wet and this is all heavily two coated right here. How's it look? We'll see if I did good after I get it off. So far my caulk worked well. Since I'm alone, I'm gonna pull this fast so it doesn't drag on the floor. Whoa, whoa, -hoo -hoo. okay. I like it. And I have no bleeding under the tape. Now, the alternative is you try to paint this with a brush. I, I, I'm going to say that it's impossible to achieve a straight line like that, okay? You can get a cheap laser. You can get one for under $30. You don't have to get this $600 deal from Bosch. But anyway, let me show you how the whole wall looks. So there's our wall. A nice little accent, which will go into this part of the room. But we had to end this flat, long wall at an obtuse angle. And to separate the light from the dark paint.
The wet in the center of your screen, don't let it deceive you. It is perfectly straight, thanks to the laser and modern technology, right? If you didn't have a laser, you could use a bulb, plumb bulb. Okay, thanks for watching. Please click on like and subscribe.